Hi, I'm Stan Sawyer, your Bahamas real estate expert. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Craig Roberts, the infamous <laughs> The infamous, that's great. <laughs> here at the Bahama Beach Club in Treasure Key, Abaco, Bahamas. If you take a look at it, if you come down, you'll see what I'm talking about. Nice to meet you, Craig. Hey, buddy, good, good to see, see you. Here. You know, I've been here 29 years now. It seems like only yesterday I came to the Bahamas on my little boat with my family. And as we're coming by in the Sea of Abaco, we had about five or six other boats with us. And I saw this beach and I said, my God, look at that beach. And I got on the radio to the other boaters and they said, oh, that's Treasure Key. You don't want to go there. It's closed. So we went up to Marsh Harbor and we spent two weeks there. And and uh, my, my brother called me. I had one of those big cell phones with the battery on it. Uh, I don't know if you remember my brother. No, he I says, where one. are you, man? I said, I'm in Marsh Harbor. He said, get out of there. Go to Treasure Key. It's beautiful. And that was in 1991, and I've been here ever since. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe that? 29 years. Well, Treasure Tres Tres Key is fortunate to have you here because of that, this um, 80 room condo development. I mean, uh, yeah. you couldn't pick the better spot. This is my second resort, Bahama Beach Club. Uh, first one I had was Banyan Beach Club here, if you remember, years ago. And uh, when I thought about investing in the Bahamas uh, 29 years ago, I was concerned, is it a safe environment here? Turns out the Bahamas is 300 years old as a democracy. It's the third wealthiest country behind the uh, United States and Canada in the region. I was concerned about a labor force. We have a great labor force here. Yeah. As an American, where the bank's going to loan me money, as you know, Stan, they loan me millions of dollars here to build Bahama Beach Club. Right. And also the government of the Bahamas, were they going to cooperate with a foreign investor? I have to tell you that after all these years, if it wasn't for the government's help, I don't think I would have made it. I saved millions of dollars building this resort thanks to the Hotels Encouragement Act. Right. And what that did, if you remember, when I brought in items, I didn't have to pay duty on a lot of the items. And I saved clearly 85% on the construction costs. So it's been a real success story. My family and I love it here. Uh, we made a lot of great friends. Our 88 owners hopefully love the resort as much as I do, but I'll tell you this, I know 10, 20,000 guests that visit the resort every summer, I know they love it. Yeah, they do. I've seen them uh, coming back every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I need the money, you know? Well, that's good. So, <laughs> so you hear that? Um, come on back to the Bahama Beach Club. We're going to help keep Craig alive. Yeah, yeah, thanks. I so, need the money. Yeah. <laughs> So I'd like to thank you very much for stopping in. I know you're a busy guy. No, buddy, my um, pleasure. Um, this man is a rock star. He doesn't want you to know, but he also sold my house when nobody else could sell it. He's the most honest realtor in Abaco. Trust me, I've been doing with this business with this guy a long time, and I love you as a friend, but I respect you as a, a realtor and a businessman. Well, I thank you very much for that. But uh, uh, making uh, me blush. Uh, but yeah, he's, your he's, first he's a good guy. Thank yeah, you, sir. Thanks.